his head to his toes and his shining nose to his great big ears that flop. He's a friend of mine, come rain or shine, that's Mop. Now how about that? There's a friendly cat who could send my mind skew with troubles I've had, and but I love the little madam called Smith. Mop and Smith, they are two of a kind. There's no doubt at all, they're best of friends. Mop and Smith, now then you'd never find so much fun right under the sun. Adventure time for everyone. Mop and Smith, there's no buts, no ifs about it. Mop and Smith are two of a kind. In the middle of winter, the village on the hill looks very different, and the first fall of snow always brings out lots of surprises. Goodness me, Mop. A lot of snow. We'll have some fun in this, aren't we? Hey, come on then, let's... Look at this snowman! Oh, what a smashing snowman that is! Come on then, on our way! As usual, Smith has gone her own sweet way, out of the coal house window and in search of somewhere warm. But Mop wants to see the drifts up on the hills, and that's where we get our second surprise. Well, I don't know, Mop. That's a funny-looking machine, if I ever saw one. It's throwing the snow up high, isn't it? Should we follow them? The snowblower has come out today because the narrow lane across the moor is completely blocked. But Mop and I can still take a shortcut across the field. Hey, Mop! Come on! Go on! Go on! The blower uses its spinning blades to gobble up the snow at the front and then it sprays it out of the way into the fields beside the lane. Some of it gets blown our way, and suddenly we find we're in the middle of a snowstorm. Just a few minutes' work, and the lane is completely clear. Come on, then. Let's go and see what else is going on. Luckily, we don't need a snowblower to get to the top of Bunny Hill, and that's where Mop finds his next surprise. This looks like fun, Mop. We've got to get in on this, haven't we? Come on, then. Come on. Should we get a... <laughs> don't even need a proper sledge to join in the fun. These boys are using plastic bags to slide on. I think Mop quite fancies having a go himself. At least he can help by pulling the sledges up. And I get a chance to slide back down before we set off home. Dustbin men, Mop. 
I'd forgotten it was their day today. Shall we go home and watch them work? Come on, now. Dustbin men are here again to take away what I don't need. A plastic bag that's full of rags, some old tin cans and garden weeds. To the dump, to the dump, with a bang and a bump, the dustbin men are here today. To the dump, to the dump, with a bang and a bump, they take my rubbish far, far away. Today it's uh, been, been a bit. Is it slippy for you all day? Yeah, it's been pretty bad. Pretty slippy. Yeah. Uh, How's Mop today? Oh, he loves the snow. They throw my sack into the back and chomp, chomp. It's out of sight. The dustman's lurry in a hurry has had its lunch in one big bite. To the dump, to the dump, with a bang and a bump. The dustbin men are here today To the dump, to the dump With a bang and a bump They take my rubbish far, far away made by a cat. I bet those were Smithies. Now we know where she's been today. Come on. I reckon Smith will have been warming her paws for quite a while this morning. What with the snowblower, the sledging and the dustbin men, we've been out a bit longer than usual. What a day it's been, Mop, eh? What a day. Good to get home and warm our toes, eh? I know it won't be long now before Mop and Smith take their mid-morning nap, and that's when I get the chance to imagine the sort of adventure they might have in their dreams. And this time it's Mop who does the wishing. What kind of wish would you make if all your wishes came true? I wish that I had a sledge of my own. Let's hope it comes true for you. I could take you for a ride if I had my own sledge. Not much chance of that, Mop. You'll have to make do with watching the boys and girls. This weather's too cold for me anyway. I'm going to find somewhere warm to curl up. And she found an old roll of carpet by next door's back gate. If I climb in here, I can go fast asleep and no one will bother me. Just wish the dustbin man had a quieter lorry. But Smith's plans for a cosy nap were soon in tatters because the old carpet had been left out for the dustbin men to take away and they had no idea that Smith was fast asleep inside it. <laughs> Meanwhile, Mop had been having no luck in his search for the boys and girls. Ah, my friends, the dustmen. On their lorry. 
And what's Smith doing in that old carpet? But before he could find out, the lorry set off for the dump. Wait for me, Smith. Wait for me. But it wasn't easy for Mop to chase the lorry up the street in the snow, and he only just managed to keep up. Are you there, Mop? I'm stuck inside this old carpet. Ah, hang on, Smith. I'll be with you just as soon as I've had a rest. Then the lorry began to tip its load over the edge of the rubbish dump. And Mop realised there was nothing for it but to dive in after it. Grab the carpet quick, Mop. He's going to slide down the hill. And it did, with them both clinging on for dear life. Hey, Smith, this is quite fun, isn't it? We're going faster and faster. But how are we going to stop? Uh, well, uh, the hill goes up in a minute. Maybe that'll slow us down a bit. Down and down and down they slide. Roll the carpet, Smith inside. Nothing stops poor Mop and Smith from sledging in the snow. Slipping, sliding everywhere. Now they're flying through the air. Not for long, they're landing soon. Yes, down again they go. Smith was looking forward to a cozy, sleepy day. She and Mop are sledging, sliding faster than a sleigh. Down and down and down they go, faster, faster in the snow. What a sight to see them both go sledging in the snow. Mop, is that one hill below us? We're going to land. The boys and girls just couldn't believe their eyes. It was the funniest sledge they'd seen. Look out, everyone. Here we come. Clear the track. I just hope someone stops us before the river at the bottom. I don't want to get soaked. No danger of that, Smith. The river's frozen solid. Nothing but ice. So it was the fastest river crossing ever. Hang on tight. There's a tree ahead. I know! Well, uh, that was uh, quite an adventure. And you got your wish. You said you wanted a sledge of your own, and you had one, even if it only lasted for one run. Hey, Smith, do you think there are any other old carpets lying around? No, I don't. But I do think it's time for dinner. When the walking's done, they've had their fun, but they're still fast asleep. So I paint scenes of all their dreams, a picture you can keep. Mop and Smith, they are two of a kind. There's no doubt at all, they're best of friends. Mop and Smith, now then you'd never find. So much fun right under the sun, adventure time for everyone. Mop and Smith, there's no buts, no ifs about it. Mop and Smith are two of a kind. They're two of a kind. <laughs>